Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back. We finished Farm Factor with an extension specialist from Garden City named Justin Wagner. Yeah, so bud boxes are a really uh, neat concept. As, as far as I can tell, uh, they're named after the person uh, Bud Williams, stockmanship expert. And Bud Williams is kind of the father of the modern stockmanship movement, uh, if you want to look at him that way. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of other stockmanship experts out there today. They're all kind of practicing, I would call, variations of what Bud Williams taught us about handling cattle and livestock. And essentially what it is, is it's an alley where the cattle are going to come in. It's, it's got an open, or really a dead end that's just an open fence at the, the end where the cattle come in. And then the, the loadout or the, or the chute is usually typically set at a right angle, um, closer to where the, the gate is at, at the end. And so the cattle are gonna come in, find that they can't go, for, they can't go forward any further. Typically, cattle want to turn around at that point. So if, as we bring a set of cattle into a bud box, if we pause as we shut that gate on the end, uh, those cattle are going to slowly turn around. And if the cattle handler walks basically just perpendicular along the opposite side of the fence where the cattle either opposite to the loadout or the alleyway up into the chute, the cattle will actually flow past and around the handler to go up into either the, the alleyway into the chute or to the loadout. In terms of just general layout, out, they're square corners. Uh, we don't have kind of those flowing arcs that we would have in a circular type tub facility or something like that. So they're they're very conducive for producers uh, setting them up. I've seen folks uh, in the country build them out of a set of portable panels um, and, and all the way to some elaborate systems that are being put in feed yards today. For more of Farm Factor or if you want to view this program again, visit us on www.agaminkansas.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. So have a good day with good luck.